Hello, my name is Karen Maroli. I'm the Director of Music Ministries at Central United Methodist Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Welcome to Music Monday. So this week is a Music Monday for the kids, maybe, or um, those of you who are big kids um, or young at heart. Um, and let me tell you about a little bit about the way that I came to this. So some of you um, know um, that I took a pretty uh, nasty fall um, very recently and uh, I'm okay, um, but <laughs> I landed on my hands uh, running. And uh, so I've only, you can see this, um, so I've only been able to do sort of um, simple things with my hands and playing piano is not uh, really working out that terribly well still, um, but playing simple songs on the guitar is just fine. So there's that component of this Music Monday. Um, and then also, I think we're all super excited to see signs of life um, happening with um, music in worship and uh, vocal music and choral music and all of that um, sort of stuff. Um, in this period of, I'm not sure exactly where we are coming out of, hoping to come out of uh, COVID, but um, we're all sort of um, around the country and maybe even around the world looking for um, safe ways to start to reintroduce um, some, especially corporate singing and choral singing um, into worship now that um, hopefully we're starting to see some improvements and our vaccinations are rising. And one of the things that we're doing at Central is our choir is out in our courtyard um, and we pipe their singing in actually to the services um, from outside. So they're protected because they're outside uh, and the congregation is protected because the choir is, is separated from them. And of course they're masked um, as they're outside. But um, you know, it's, it's exciting to be able to start to reincorporate those sorts of things into worship and for them to uh, re-engage in their ministry. So I thought it might be a fun week to sing all God's Critters Got a Place in the Choir. Now, when I've done this with kids in the past, they get really super excited and they um, will make the animal noises. So we'll, you know, take a moment to say, you know, what does the cow say? The cow says moo, moo, and you can make a big moo. So you can do that at home. There's really, and nobody's going to hear you. So it's really going to be okay, except maybe you're, you're, you know, spouse or, or partner or kids or whatever, but they, they won't tell anybody. Um, the old coyote howls is in there. You make a, you can howl like a coyote, or you can just sit there and watch and say, look at that fool, she's singing on the internet. All God's critters got a place in the choir. It's up to you. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or pause or anything they got now. Listen to the bass. It's the one on the bottom where the bullfrog croaks. The hippopotamus moans and groans with a big to-do. An old cow just goes moo. You can moo. It's okay. Nobody's going to judge you. Well, the dogs and the cats, they take up the middle. The honeybee hums and the crickets fiddle. The donkey brays and the pony neighs. An old coyote howls. Are you howling? You should be. The cool kids are doing it. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or pause or anything they got now. Everybody here is a part of the plan. We all get to play in the great critter band. The eagle in the sky to the whale in the sea. It's one great symphony. I didn't do that very well, but I still have a place in the choir. And so do you. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, and some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. And some just clap their hands, or pause, or anything they got now. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, and some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. And some just clap their hands, or pause, or anything they got now. Wasn't that fun? That was super fun. You go back and do it again. If you didn't make the sounds, you should howl. Um, I think you'll find it very uh, liberating 
at this time. So as we go forth in this into this week, A, remember to have a little bit of fun. B, remember to um, cut yourself some slack if you experience something that makes you maybe not be able to do all the things that you normally are able to do. Um, <laughs> It's okay. It'll it'll come back. Um, do something that is comfortable for you. And also remember that all God's critters have a place in the choir and a place in our um, worship spaces and a place in our workspaces and any other place that you could uh, possibly find yourself. So remember to extend uh, a great big um, grace, big a bit of grace, and maybe even a nice coyote howl of welcome uh, to everyone that you meet. Have a wonderful week and I will see you again next time.